this is amazing now we have the first open source ai software engineer when we give a prompt like this implement conway's game of life in python using pygame it is able to list all the steps browse the internet for more information and able to create files it is going through step by step and able to run the game that's exactly what we're going to see today let's get started hi everyone i'm really excited to show you about devika an agentic ai software engineer this is completely open source so you can try this on your computer even using open source large language model using olama you can see it supports cloud 3 gpt4 gpt3.5 and local models via olama advanced ai planning and reasoning capability contextual keyword extraction seamless web browsing code writing in multiple languages dynamic agent state tracking and visualization natural language interaction via chat interface which means on the left hand side you will chat with the agent and right hand side you can see the progress i'm going to take you through step by step on how to install this on your computer and test this but before that i regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my youtube channel so do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you in this we are going to see how to configure this then how to set up the front end then how to set up the back end in this we are going to run two softwares one is flask written in python that is the back end so we will keep that running and in the front end we will use bun it's a javascript based front end application so that's what we see in our browser so first step git clone and the github url slash devika and then click enter next navigate to the devika folder now conda create hyphen and devika python equals 3.11 and then click enter now conda activate devika and then click enter next pip install hyphen r requirements.txt and then click enter this will install all the required dependencies or the packages now if you open this code folder in vs code you can see various files among that we need to change config.toml just open it it will look like this so here you got api keys so you need to enter your bing api key if you are using cloud you can use cloud api key if you are using open ai you can use open ai api key so replace this accordingly one difference is that for bing search api key you might need to follow different steps so you got the bing search api page there you can click try now there you will be present with a page like this enter the subscription resource group or you can create a new one then provide a name for the instant select the pricing tier so you can choose the first one for basic tests then confirm and you can create it once after you create you will have a page like this where you will have keys and endpoint click on that and there you should be able to copy your api key so this bing api is used for browsing the internet or searching similarly if you go to platform.openai you should be able to create api keys for openai in console.anthropic you can get api keys for cloud once after you modify this save the file you don't need to use cloud or open ai at the same time you can use one of those whatever you prefer now in your terminal python devika.py and then click enter this will automatically start the backend flask application so keep the terminal running let's open a new terminal navigate to ui folder cd ui now we need to install bun to set up your front end application it is using javascript so i'm going to copy this code to install bun and paste it here and then click enter now it's installing bun and it has been installed now inside the ui folder as you can see here just type bun install and then click enter i've already installed before so it says already installed now bun run dev and then click enter this will automatically start the front end now you can open this url and here is the interface you can go up and create a new project let's say test project now we need to choose the model we want to use i'm going to use gpt4 so now going to ask implement conway's game of life in python using pygame and then click send now you can see on the left hand side you can talk to the ai engineer and here you can see it's performing the request it's listing all the steps on the left hand side here is my step by step plan set up a python development environment install pygame a research about conway's game of life so it's browsing in the right hand top corner you can see that now it's going through the game development tutorial now it's researching about improving performance in py game i can see at the bottom it's trying to run in the back end you can see all the requests coming through 
Now in the readme file, I can see the list of things to follow. How to run. Ensure you have the Python installed on your system. Using pip install hyphen r requirements.txt, then Python run. So you can find all these files in the projects folder. So this is your folder structure. Go inside projects. So CD projects. And inside that, I created a project called test. That's what we defined in our user interface. Then click enter. Now inside this file, you can see three different files. That's what we saw on the screen. Game of life, readme and requirements.txt. Now I'm going to run pip install hyphen r requirements.txt. This will install the pi game package and all the dependencies. So I can see an error here. So it's because of the requirements.txt file. So if I open the requirements.txt file, I can see the version here. So I'm going to delete it because it's using older version. So that's the reason it's getting failed. So going to delete that and do the same step again. pip install hyphen r requirements.txt and then click enter. This is all depending on the large language model you're using, not because of this tool. Now going to run the python gameoflife.py file. And you can see the game got started, but I don't see anything. But this is depending on the large language model which we are using. The more powerful the large language model is, then definitely this code is going to work. So overall, this AA engineer is able to perform the task we requested. You can also follow the documentation to set up your open source large language model using Olama. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.